Hello everybody, this is Pun the Frugal Streamer. I wanted to talk about Restream.io. Restream.io is something I think a lot of people would be interested in. If you don't know about it already, Restream.io gives you the, the ability to restream, or I should say not restream, but stream to multiple platforms simultaneously. So you can stream to your Twitch, you can stream to your YouTube Gaming, you can stream to Mixer. If you have Facebook Live, you can stream Facebook Live. Now, for the most part, um, basic service is free for Restream IO. Um, if you want to stream to Mixer, Twitch, YouTube Gaming at the same time, it's free. Okay, it doesn't cost you a thing. Um, if you want to use RTMP or go to Facebook Live because Facebook Live requires RTMP, then you're going to have to pay. Okay, but basic service is free, so it's really simple to do. All you need to do, look, is just go to uh, Restream.io. Okay, if you go there, you'll come to the main page. If you uh, have an account there already and you've been logged in, it'll take you right straight to your channel like this. Otherwise, make an account or if you have one, log in. Uh, but this is the UI. It's very simple to do. Um, you have your dashboard where all your channels are at. You can add a channel. I will go ahead and add my mixer. You can see here, here's all the different channels that you can stream to. Um, down here is where you would do Facebook Live if you want to do that. Again, this is going to cost you to do that. But Mixer, Twitch, all these guys are free. All right, so Mixer, um, all you need to do is just connect to your account. If you're already logged into your mixing Mixer account like I am, okay, it'll automatically generate the uh, key for you. You just hit approve, and it links your account. And that's all you need to do. Now, simply in OBS Studio, or if you wanted to use slobs, you could. I don't recommend it, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but here is the server information. Um, you just get this RTMP, okay, and this key here. Then go to OBS Studio, go to Settings, and Stream, Custom Service, or Server. Put the RTMP in, uh, URL in and the key, and now you're streaming to Restream.io. If you do like me, I made a profile for Restream.io, okay, so that it's, you know, constantly saved and if you just want to use Restream IO, you just select that profile and all your settings are there already. So that's what I've done. That's what I recommend you do. Okay, so other things here do, you can change your, uh, you can go and change the titles of your streams here. Uh, you can go to your social alerts if you want to tweet out a stream. Um, you can actually monitor your up and down times here. Um, and then here, is what I recommend you do, okay, because this is a great little app. Download this chat. Now, they do have web chat, um, but you can download this as a separate app onto your computer, and I recommend you do that. Uh, it does a really good job here, and I'll talk about why it's important here in a second. Okay, so that's enough about Restream.io. It is really simple, really easy. Okay, it's not hard to explain, but if you do have any questions about it, um, Feel free to hit the comments below. I'll try to answer them best I can. Okay. So why, why restream IO and why would I not want to use it with slobs? And cause slobs is like the greatest thing right now for streamers. Super easy. It's integrated fully with Streamlabs. Uh, it gives you everything all in one. But the problem is with it is it's really only geared for you to stream to one place at a time. So when you're logged into Twitch, you're looking at your dashboard for Twitch. You're looking at your events for Twitch. You're looking at all your live chat for Twitch. You can't really look at all your platforms at one time. Okay. So what I recommend you do is instead of using slobs, you got to fall back to OBS Studio. Okay. So OBS Studio, what I would recommend you do is to make three browser sources. Okay. And you, like I say, if you're familiar with um, OBS Studio, it's part of your sources that are built into it now. It's called browser. The latest update changed it from browser source to browser. Okay. And you make a browser. You get the alert link out of Streamlabs. Okay. Go to their website. Pull the alert link for each of your accounts from Streamlabs and make those sources. Then when somebody gives you a follow, somebody gives you a subscribe, somebody hosts, somebody, you know, donates, whatever, you'll get alerts from all three of your platforms right here on OBS Studio. That's really the only reason you really need to monitor uh, all your stuff anyway is for alerts, right? So what I would recommend you do is to use Chatbot, the Streamlabs Chatbot, 
Okay. Use one of the accounts, use Twitch or YouTube, either one of those and bring it up. Okay. Uh, then you can control songs. Okay. If you link up your Spotify to it, you can control songs. Um, and you can monitor if you want to monitor alerts from Twitch, whatever. Um, if whatever your main streaming account is, that would be the chat button I would bring up most for most people. It's probably Twitch. Okay. Um, you know, if you're, you know, you're a mixer person and that's your main account, but you want to learn to start streaming to other places then bring up your mixer chat bot and use that. Okay. But download the restream chat because reach stream chat app is really nice because you know, you can, you can monitor all three of your platforms right here in one app. You don't have to go and look at chat bot on all three. Uh, so it's really nice. That's why this is really important. I think. So you just log in and type right password. And it will link up to your accounts. And it'll tell you right here um, how many you've linked up, two out of three. What I need, what I, you typically have to do with Mixer, and I've had this problem ever since it came out, is to enable apply. And go down here to your accounts and hit connect on Mixer. And uh, if you've been recently logged in, it'll just automatically connect. Um, if you've if it's been a while, then you might need to um, you know log in again. And why is it it's not logging in? It's really strange. I've already got one up anyway. Let me hold on. I didn't notice I had it up already. So let me bring this one up and this should have all three. Yeah. So all three are logged in here. So you can see they're all three logged in and people can just chat to you and you'll see it right here in chat box. It's really nice. But you can also select if you want to reply to chats, you can select which channel you want to reply to. If you don't want to reply to all of them at once. Um, so it's nice. You can monitor all your chat right here. And if you have bots that are sending messages to your chat, You'll also see them here. So that's another way that you can see your alerts. Uh, so, I, you know, pick your main uh, channel bot, run that and, you know, run that chat bot and you can have all your currency. You can do the song requests. You can run songs, whatever. Uh, but run the chat app to monitor all of your chat at one time. Okay. And really, that's all you need, I think. But, uh, so yeah, OBS Studio is really a thing. I mean, you could use slops. I'm not saying you can't. Um, but I think uh, for the fact that, you know, you can s just easily set it up in OBS Studio and you have all your different alerts in one shot there, uh, you know, it's that easy. So, but uh, I'm not saying you can't use slops. You can. Uh, I just think it's a little more, I don't know, feasible for uh, OBS Studio. So, anyway. That's my personal preference. Uh, take it as you will. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you got any questions about any of this, okay, please leave the comments down below. Um, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But, yeah, definitely check out Restream.io. It's a good deal, and I think you'll uh, get a lot of use out of it, if you're, especially if you're wanting to expand beyond just Twitch. All right? So this is Pun Frugal Streamer. Y'all have a great week, and we'll see you later.